Today in math, we're going to continue learning about three-dimensional shapes. So first, let's review our 2D shapes that we learned last quarter. We've got our hexagon, rectangle, circle, square, triangle. Our 2D shapes are flat. That is something that is different from three-dimensional shapes because 3D shapes are solid, 2D shapes are flat. All right, so let's review our 3D shapes that we've been learning about. This is a cube. Our cube has square faces. So something they have in common is 3D shapes have faces that are two-dimensional shapes. So this square is a face of a 3D shape. That's something that's similar. They also both have vertices. So my cube here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices, where this one only has four. So here's our cube. It has six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six faces. And it has 12 edges. These are the edges. We don't call them sides anymore. On a 2D shape, we call them sides. On the 3D shape, it's an edge. Uh, I want to do my sphere next. So this is a sphere. It's not a ball. The shape is a sphere. So our 3D sphere has similarities to a 2D circle because a circle has no vertices, no straight sides. And our sphere doesn't have any vertices either. And it has no faces. So here's my tape so, so it doesn't roll away. Please don't roll away. There we go. The next one is our cylinder we talked about yesterday. Our cylinder has two circle faces. So our cylinder is similar to a circle because it has circle faces, just like that. And if I put it like this, it'll roll. But if I put it on one of the faces, it'll stand still. So the last one we're going to talk about is our shape of the day, which is a cone. Our cone also has a circle face and one vertice at the top. If I put it on the side, it can roll. But if I put it on the face, or if it's down, it would be called the base, it won't go anywhere. So I want you to take a moment and look around your house and see if you find any cones. Excuse me. A cone has a circle base, comes up like this, excuse me, where it's smooth and it comes to one point at the top. To draw a sphere, it's actually not too, too hard. You just draw two sides like you're drawing a triangle and then a little oval at the bottom to make your sphere. So that's how I would do it. Now I'm going to show you some pictures of some other... Did I just follow a sphere? I'm in a cone. Let me show you some more cones. Maybe you found some of these at your house. What kind of vegetable is that? It's a carrot. So if I had my carrot kind of flipped over you can see the base and then it comes to a point, a vertice there. Here's a teepee with a circle bottom and the vertice on top. Traffic cones, we've seen these around town. Christmas trees, where they've got the circle bottom and the point at the top. We've got a snow cone, you can hold it, eat your delicious treat in the summertime funnel. Maybe you need to pour some liquid into something else. Use the funnel. Party hat. And last, I have an ice cream cone, and I wanted to show you there's two cones here. There's the, co the ice cream cone here that has the base or the face up here, and then it comes to a point. But then I found it with some swirly, really ice cream on top where it comes to a vertice there. So now I want you to see if you find any cones in your house. 